Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. And what we're playing with today is we are doing sublimation. Um, I um, ended up, um, I got a wonderful Christmas present. I got the brother, hold on, don't get sick, pause. I got the brother uh, SP-1 sublimation printer for Christmas. My darling husband got that for me. Um, he's such a sweetie. And this thing has been so much fun to play with. It is absolutely fabulous. Um, I keep it on a rolling cart. It's a little, it was a three drawer like that one, but I took a drawer off. It's a Sterilite or it's similar to a Sterilite tote with the wheels on the bottom. And, uh, anyhow, uh, I put a piece of wood on the top of it and then stuck the printer on it and I just store my I store it under under the table over there and it's plugged in it's always plugged in and uh but I can like pull it out up to my workspace where I use it at and uh, I just store the paper right on the top of it because you don't actually use this uh this you don't use you don't open this for anything. It is unnecessary to open this. So you can actually store your paper on top of it. And then I store a roll of parchment paper next to it. And um, down at the bottom drawer um, below, not not the Heartfelt Creations dies and stuff, but below that, the drawer, I keep my... Um, my mug press in it. Um, let me see. Down, down there, my mug press is in there. Um, and, and then whatever sublimation things... Um, I have a box of uh, cups, sublimation mugs, actually they're mugs, and uh, all the other sublimation stuff I've collected so far is kept in the bottom drawer. So it's all very convenient if I get an inspiration and want to make something, um, want to create anything, uh, I, it's all together and I can do that. So I really love it. So we're using this. Uh, to print out the sublimation. So when I send something to the uh, printer, it's this is where it's going to go. And it just, it's so awesome. It works so wonderful. Uh, it's, I got it, it it's wirelessly uh, connected. And uh, so you just use an app on your phone, the Art Spira. I think that's how you say it, Art Spira app, Art Spira. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um which is, I'm not an English major, could be quite possible. <laughs> but, uh, so the other thing I wanted to, um, uh, share with you too, is this sublimation coating. Um, this stuff is so fantastic. You literally spray it onto your garment that doesn't have, that's not, uh, sublimate. It doesn't have enough polyester in it. How's that? To be able to sublimate on for the long haul for permanent. You can sublimate onto it, but it won't stay A and B. It'll generally be much lighter of an impression uh, of an image than something that is that you has the coating. And so this puts that on it and you literally um, generously spray your uh, garment um, and then you let it, uh, so basically, um, what I did was, is I upcycled a top, a couple of tops. Um, crafting can be quite messy <laughs> and occasionally you get things where you don't want them. And sometimes they inevitably end up on my top, my shirt and <laughs> dang, there goes my new top. Uh, not wearing that again, but the material is so nice, especially this, uh, this cotton, this is one of those really nice, uh, it was a really nice cotton um, top that I instantaneously ruined when I put it on. Got paint on it and it was like, ah, darn it. Okay, well, so all I did was is um, I cut a square out and I made some pot holders for Valentine's Day. I thought, hey, let's let's upcycle that. But how can I upcycle? Because it's 100% cotton. And so I was looking around on YouTube and YouTube, there was a gal who did an amazing tutorial um, on sublimating on, on cotton. But what the product that she used was um, $50 for the bottle and you had to pay for shipping. It was a whole kit and everything. But I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to invest that much money if I don't know if it's actually going to work. So um, I ended up searching around for sublimation coatings and found this at Walmart. So a uh, Jewfish sublimating coating. 
and this works the same way as the one she was using. Um, I'm not selling any of my items. This is just for personal home use. So it might be a different story for quality. Maybe that one is better, has a better image uh, for brightness of color. I don't know. I, or longevity. I have no idea. But this stuff worked similar to what it looked like in the YouTube channel. You spray this liberally on the garment. Let it air dry. Don't help it. Literally give it a couple of hours and let it air dry. And then uh, go ahead and heat press your image heat press your image on it and it works amazing um i mean these are the results of <laughs> buddy fur uh these are the results i got and this is white uh don't look at the buddy fur though um and don't look at the sewing <laughs> i'm not a professional seamstress i just like to have fun so i made these cute little uh pot holders for valentine's and i me and john got a, a kick out of finding images and whatnot and um little slogans for them so i did steamy hot and this is a a cup of uh steaming hot coffee and like right how cute is that that. And then we did sizzling hot because it looks like this is uh, these hearts are sizzling. And then we did a flaming hot, right? Is this the no right here that you could see it better? Um, a flaming hot. So I thought these were really fun. And I just got these hanging um, in my uh, kitchen area and just for something fun. And I'll probably put them out and use them on Valentine's Day and just got to kick out of it because it upcycles that top that I didn't want to throw out because the material is really good. So I just cut the section out that worked nice. Um, and unfortunately, it happens quite often. So I have a few of these that I can upcycle. <laughs> in varying colors so yay but uh anyhow yeah it worked great um and then I was trying to utilize the uh stitchings on my sewing machine but I honestly my mom wasn't here and she is the queen she can fix anything and yeah um but she couldn't help me because she wasn't here and so I just kind of was like okay that's not working properly let's just go back to the straight stitching it seemed like it worked and then I even tried to get a, a different style that wasn't so complicated and it still it like the straight lines so I went back to the square <laughs> but hey they're still cute I'm still gonna put them out use them and I mean just for even a one-time deal it's super fun and nice so yeah I gotta kick out of doing these but the other thing so yeah so sublimation coating amazing works great um the other thing I wanted to share with you that we're actually gonna make right now is when I was looking for I'm gonna power on my Cricut heat press um to three ninety for 45 seconds the timer set for 45 seconds um my here we're gonna use this kit which i got from walmart um which you don't these are already these are sublimation blanks so they're sublimation print ready um this is if you're using cotton and or something that doesn't have the coating on it um but anyhow so i've got my cricut heat press right here um and i believe it's well i'll tell you when it beeps I'm pretty sure it's 390 for 45 seconds. Um, so uh, what I did was I was looking online for sublimation paper um, and Walmart came up. So I was looking at Walmart for prices and they had great. I thought they had really good prices on the paper. Well, under the listing of like the paper and stuff, there were sublimation blanks. And I thought, yeah, you got your heat mugs and your coasters, but Walmart has an array of blanks. So in that, there were these air fresheners, um, these sublimation air fresheners. And they are so stinking fun. They have this pack right now on clearance. It comes with the tassels. It comes with the uh, stretchy rope because uh, they're car air fresheners. And that comes with uh, 48 pieces of different. So you got circles. You got rectangles. Here, let's take these out. And even the bags, if you wanted to print them and sell them, um, you, they have the bags that you could, you could put them in to sell them if you want or to ship them, to give them away. Um, anyways, but there's, there's like these, this cute one style here, or you get your rectangle, um, this cute, like domed one or a circle. And there, these are so stinking fun and so easy. They're so easy, which I don't think I have this style yet. So we should do this one first. Um, but anyways, and so what you do is you buy oils, essential oils, and you put them, you print on the front and then you put the oils on the back and so stinking simple um and i told john i was gonna do this video this morning and he was like um 
well, yeah, you could do these for like, if you have a themed party, you could do these and they're just something fun. You don't even have to put the oils on it, but people, you could put the oil set out and they could pick what scent they wanted and they can put the scent on if they want. Um, and you have the little bags that they're already in so they can take them home that way. Um, or you could send them in the mail, super easy to ship. Uh, if you did do a party or something like that, uh, you could just sublimate a picture on it and then it could be a memento and a photo album. Um, there's like all kinds of things and they're just a nice thin size and they're super fun and totally different. But Walmart had like earrings, keychains, wristbands, um, I mean, they had so many things. So if you just go to Walmart's website and type in sublimation blanks, so much stuff comes up and so fun and super reasonable. This set was on clearance for $12.99. I bought it at, I believe, $14.99 for 40, 48 pieces. That's pretty decent. And then this essential oil set was only like $11 or $12. You get six. It, it doesn't hardly take any any oil to make these scented. The nice thing is, is if it ends up being an odor you're not really happy with, or it's too strong. Uh, when I, when we put peppermint, we did peppermint and uh, it, it only lasted like a day and a half. So it's not like it's going to be super fragrant forever. Um, you could swap, you could change the, the fragrance on it too. So there is that. So just super fun, you know? Um, and so, yeah, so this was about eleven ninety nine or something like that. And I think Walmart, if you order at least $35, you get free shipping. Uh, on their website for most things it's free shipping so yeah I just wanted to share this with you um I went on to a uh, google typed in free valentine images and came up with a bunch of uh uh a free pick free pick website is downloadable uh you get free images some other stuff you have to purchase but aren't these just stinking darling and then you can even uh modify the images like this was a free background image that i put 2024 in and happy valentine's day on in the art spira app um this was a another image that i altered added happy valentine's day and then the 2024 to the little bear this one i got my sizing off but these were free images as well this was the same one i was trying out different techniques I mean, there's 48 pieces, and if you're just doing wanted a few of them, you have tons to practice on. So uh, before I put the 2024, but I mean, so simple and so easy. So I thought, hey, let me show you how to do that, like what I end up doing, and hopefully this tutorial won't be too long. Um, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, so the Cricut heat press is set to um, it's set to 390 for 45 seconds. And this, this one here, because these are so small and sometimes the, um, images are a little bit larger. Uh, I, I don't want to get my heat press messy. So I put a piece of parchment paper under and then a piece of parchment paper on the top. So let me grab a little chunk, um, and put that down first and then we'll put another piece on top or I could actually probably just, uh, fold this one over. Yeah, we'll just use this this piece here um, as a little book, a little sublimation book. And so now what you want to do is, let me, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go to my uh, Google first. Uh, oh, yeah, right here. So $12.99, that, that's, all the, that's all the stuff that you actually get. Like, it is a super cute set. And look, you can put the little tassels at the bottom. How darling is that? Okay, but hold on. Let me get a new tab. I don't know what's up with my phone, so I don't want a, any personal information like passwords or something, you know. So I do this. I, oh, free Valentine images right there. And then and then I hit images like so. And then you just go and you pick something. So that's free. And so then you visit the website. And then it, like you pick whatever. These are all free. So like say you like that one. And then it allows you to download it. Um, what I like to do instead is I screenshot it. Oh, see, you see it do the blinky thing. That means it captured it. So then I go back to my homepage. Then I go to um, the app. And then, and then it's uploading. Wait for it. It could be my internet. Okay, wait for it. And then I go to new. And then I make sure I'm on printing. And then I go to design editor. And then I custom size for what it is I'm doing, but I know that that image is going to be, in order to get it to be tall enough, 
I have to go bigger. So I'm actually going to go ahead and stay with the portrait. Normally I size it to what the image is. And there's actually a limitation on that. Um, the custom size only allows you to go down to, I think it's like four, 3.5, maybe, maybe 3.5 by, by four, 5.5 or something. There's a limitation on how small you can go because of paper size and, and printing issues. So there is that, but normally I size to whatever my project is like for my hot pads. I did, um, 7.5, uh, seven and a half inches since that's what the size of my image was. And what is nice about that is it gives you the box for like your limitations on what your borders are, your sizes. Um, but, uh, which, which is nice for designing. However, in this case, I know the image I'm using is, isn't going to be tall enough. I want to stretch it more than what it's going to be. So I'm going to go just, I did just letter portrait style. I'm going to say, uh, hit the plus to add camera roll. That just is uh, licensing stuff, uh, copyright issues, uh, infringements. So this is all at your own risk as well. When you're doing this, um, I don't sell any of it. So, um, Oh wait, I forgot. We have to go to gallery because we have to, um, edit this. So I'm in my gallery. So tap that I'm going to go to edit. And this is literally what came with the phone. So now I'm just going to crop it to what it is I want to use like, uh, like that. And then I'm going to hit save and it saves it. And so now that's what I want to use. Now we're going to go to the app, back to the app. And I'm going to delete that. You just tap on it, delete. And now I'm going to add the proper one <laughs> camera roll. Yeah. So the, and so it still looks like that in my app, but it'll change after See, it changes it. So now you have to touch it if you want to resize it. And so now you can resize it with your fingers. Um, which the problem with doing that is it doesn't necessarily make it in, like it gets cattywampus. So that can be a little bit annoying. So I'm going to also go size and see how tall I am. Okay, so I only need it to be four inches tall. So uh, if I want to do it, because it's relatively straight, um, I can just do it like this. Uh, go down, 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 down. That's the only thing they need. Uh, they need to make this just like the paper one. When you do the paper, you type it in. Um, you can touch it and type it in. This one, you have to go by like a tenth increment. So it's like forever. You're like, oh, take a break for your poor little finger. <laughs> yeah, they need to fix that. Uh, you can also too, if you wanted just to stretch something, because I. I stretched the flames on this. Um, you unlock it right there and then you can independently size like the height. Like if I touch this, oh wait, go down. It only does the height. Um, so you keep your width, although it stretches the image too. So you want to be aware of that. So I'm going to keep mine uh, the same. So yeah, mine, I want it to be four inches tall and like three inches wide, but we're going to crop it uh, on uh, my paper trimmer. Oh, no, four inches tall. Perfect. So I'm going to say done. Hit the check mark. Right? Okay. So now the other thing I grabbed out of, um, so then I'm going to say okay because I'm done with that image. And now here I can add text and put uh, Happy Valentine's Day 2024. Um, or you can actually grab another free image and you can print them separate and heat press them separate. So that's what I'm going to do. So done. I'm going to add another image from the camera roll. And I did this uh, Be Mine. It was originally, oh, it's not on here. Uh, it was originally a four, uh, a four image uh, slogans. There were four sayings on it and I cropped out this one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pop that there. I don't know why I'm not like trying to utilize it or anything, but I'm going to print these separate and press them separate. So we get a super fun image because if I put this over this, I believe how it works is it will actually make a white box with that. So you want to do this. You want to press each of these separately um, to make it the nicest. So you still get the background behind the Be Mine Valentine. And I'm not going to change the color on that, although I could. Um, so basically what you would do is you, oh, you go to effect 
and then you can change it to whatever these are down here. So you get your blue, your variations and stuff. But the other thing too is I could have changed this in the gallery first and said I wanted it to be pink. Um, but I didn't. Uh, you can also, okay, so we're going to say done. I want mine to stay black though. You can even change the color effect on this one too. So effect, and then you can do all these different things with it as well. Change it to whatever, whatever color you want it to be. So there you go there. So we're done with that. I'm keeping it the same though. Okay, so now I'm going to hit okay because I'm done. Um, I'm done. And no, I don't want to save it, uh, but I do want to print it. And so I'm going to send it to the printer. It's going. Did you hear that? It's starting. Like, that's how easy it is. It's so simple. So, I'm going to pull the little. There's a little, uh, there's a little paper tray. A uh, catch right here. I'm just going to pull that out. And then, as soon as it's done, I'll be right back. Hang on, guys. Okay, here we go. So, um,. I ended up, when this uh, came out of the printer, it seemed like this might be a little bit light uh, for what I was going for. Although, when these do print out, um, they print out light, they look lighter, and then they'll be darker once they're sublimated. So, but I thought, I went ahead and changed this to red tones, and thought, oh, there's not really much difference, is there? <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, cut cut these out uh this one out here on my little guillotine trimmer here and um i kind of already have an idea because i've lined up what it is i want to use anyhow um so i'm just gonna trim it out like this on my paper trimmer and also gonna grab my sentiment as well and i'm just gonna um you know just eyeball what it is we're cutting not this one's going to just literally cut, or not cut, this one's literally going to print with the black and white, um, with just the black anyways, so we don't have to be too, although you want to be able to line it up, so there is that as well, uh, but I'm going to do that for the uh, sentiment for this one, we're not using any of these, uh, not this, not this, okay, so let's Let's go ahead and let's line up what we're thinking we want to we want to use on this one, I think. Oh, I trimmed it too short. Oh, dag nabbit. We're going to have to be very careful when we put this on. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and um let's See where we at here. Oh, that'll go. And then, uh, let's see, on this one, I think I want to go ahead and cut off, there's like a little line there, because that was part of the shadow, uh, from the original printing of it, so I'm cutting that off, and then we're gonna use that, right? And then it's gonna be like this. Oh, I'm short. Oh no, I think we might just get it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we have to do one uh, first. We have to do the background first, and then we do these. Uh, do we want to do it that way? No. Actually, so we keep... Well, I don't know. I did it last time that way. It, it, it did just fine. Let's just go ahead and do, the, do it this way. So, let's see. I want to keep most of the hearts on this one. So, I'm going to line it up like this. And I'm going to do, do both of them at the same time. So, let's see where this is. So, I think that's pretty good. We're going to flip that over. And we're going to see. We're good. Okay, we're going to see what that looks like. Put the butcher pa paper over, or the parchment paper over the top. And I need to lift you guys up because I have to be able to press. And then it's set to three. 95 45 seconds hit start and you're supposed to press so as soon as that timer counts down i'll be right back okay favorite part the reveal here we go okay it's looking promising <gasps> right how darling is that we missed the very top but that's okay there's a, a ribbon 
Okay, and <laughs> that did pretty decent, right? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get our... Um, let's scoot this one over. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop our Be My Valentine on there. We can kind of lift it up and see where it's going to go. That looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, same with this one. Be my valentine. Okay, right there. And we're going to go another 45 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. All right. All <laughs> right. How cute is that? Be my valentine. That's so cute. See, wouldn't that be super fun to get in the mail? <laughs> that is darling, right? Isn't that the cutest? That is so fun. Okay, we're done with that. Let me turn this off. And uh, let's go ahead and pop some ribbon on. And, um, yeah, let me get you guys over here. So I grabbed out a couple of the little red tassels. I actually got some red ribbon out of my stash, this sheer ribbon. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I believe this is like three eighths or a half. It's half inch ribbon, a little sheer red ribbon. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop it in here. You could use the cording if you want to, if you wanted it to be stretchy, because that's stretchy cording. And um, pop it in here and do like a so. And a tie a knot like right. That covered up a little bit up there, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot at the top. Uh, like this. Right? Yeah, how cute is that, right? And so now we can punch a little hole. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what... I don't know what... I think maybe just this. I think I'm, I'm going to punch a hole. They're, they don't show a hole, but I I don't know. I don't know how else you would get that in there. I'm just going to eyeball right in the center there. I think that's about the center. Looks like it's uh maybe here. A uh, hole punch did the job. And now I'm just going to take a couple of uh, little pliers. And these, these come apart right in the center there. You might have to spin it around uh, to, see, to see where the little... Um, junctions at but uh there is one <laughs> so never fear uh the two pliers actually works the best for this opening it up okay and then you're just gonna pop this on like so and you're gonna put this back twist it back oops crimp it and then you can hide that little piece under and look how cute that is <laughs> isn't that the cutest thing ever I mean come on that's darling <laughs> that is adorable okay and okay so now um now there all you have to do is um I will say on these essential oils um like I put the orange one I was gonna put the orange one on uh, something else and it it's it's yellow <laughs> It's, it looks like an orange. And um, so you want to be careful. Some of them might not, they might have color and that'll affect because it'll soak through to the front and uh, ruin your piece. So when you're doing your essential oils, be mindful of if they have color or not. I would test it first, but I'm going to do peppermint. <laughs> this one smelled really good. And this has a little uh, a dauber, it has a little dauber and it's mainstays. It's at least, yeah, smells really good. It smells fun. Um, and then you just see like the little oils going on there. I just dabbed like that all over the back and it does not take a lot and you get quite a smell. I had these, I had three of these, like I dabbed on the back like this hanging throughout my house and you would walk into my house the first day I did this and it, it, it um, permeated peppermint everywhere oh my heavens it was uh so fun and nice not super strong but it was like oh it's peppermint in here what are you guys baking or making <laughs> you know it smelled like you opened up an entire uh 
you know, carton of candy canes. <laughs> so then you just want to let that dry a little bit. And then there you go. That's like, how easy is that, right? And be careful, you know, while you're waiting for it to, you know, dry, hang, hang them. So, or leave them on the back, their backs, uh, till they, you know, kind of soaks in and it's not so, um, you know, the, the oil's not so, it's like soaked into it and it doesn't come off as, as, uh, prevalent, you know, as easily. I mean, um, so yeah, so then, yeah, you would just like, if you wanted to sell these or give them away as a gift, like a, a party favor, like how cute is that, that somebody would get that. And this could even just be something to hang, um, somewhere, uh, or as an air freshener, you know, so you could pop these in like, so, oh, actually, Let's see, you could actually put the tassel down even. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's pop the little tassel down in there. Oh yeah. Right? And so then you do just like that. And then close it. And how cute is that? That is darling. So yeah, so there it is there. That's the project. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. That's how easy they are to make. Uh, they are so, so fun. Uh, sublimation. I mean, you can um, upcycle uh, any anything that you have that you might think's ruined or something, but might have a good fabric on it or repurpose. I mean, repurpose. You could sublimate on wood. You can do all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I just thought, let me know what you guys think of these... Um, steamy hot sizzly hot flaming hot right <laughs> how fun is that they're hot pads <laughs> but uh anyhow yeah let me know what you guys think of the projects down in the comments and uh what you think of the uh, sublimation uh, printing thanks so much for hanging out hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and until next time happy crafting everyone Bye bye